Giant bird! Run from the giant bird! Uh. Yep, so this uh, fight mostly consists of running in spirals. Oh, jeez. Yeah, don't fight the mob. Take seriously. Are you going to stop at this point to fight, fight a little book over them? Just trying to get hit by them if you can avoid it. Oh, angry bird. <laughs> oh, wow, I didn't even realize. Oh, and don't, uh, don't fall off. For God's sakes, don't run off the middle or something. As long as you keep moving, I think you got time. Go to the top here. Oh! Get out of my face! Ooh! It's super effective! <laughs> Sweet, that was easy. Alright, which way is Ganon? Oh, I think we made it mad. Oh god, where'd it go? Hello? Bird? Giant bird? There it is. Whoa! Arr. Come here, you. Get some of this. <laughs> How you like that hammer? Flies off. Come on, you know you want some of this. <laughs> right in the face. That's gotta hurt. Where did it go? It always flies off. Oh, watch out for that. Oh, right into the building. Nicely done, Mr. Bird. Swoop in and you're gonna land, you're gonna land. Come here, you. Come on. Come on. <laughs> nice. Just blow the leaf. Should leave, yeah, I should use the leaf and blow it out of the sky, right? Where'd you go? Come on, give me a lock on. Get over here. Ha <laughs> ha! Ooh, that's dangly. <laughs> Link's like, yeah. Oh, I should just use the hammer again. <laughs> Why not? Come on, come on. <laughs> I think when it's not when it, when it doesn't have its head stuck right next to the little metal pieces, it's actually more effective to use the sword. We'll see. It is the bait, blade of evil's bane and all that be pretty effective against evil birds. Oh, jeez, watch out. Good work, Mr. Bird. Lining that one up so he didn't run into the building again. Oh. A little bit of that sideways parry jump will work. Just one of these. Ow! Wasn't fast enough. Did I do a backflip when he hit me? That was cool. Might slow that down, do some slow-mo. All the searchlights are following it around? Interesting. Come on. Let's see what you got. In the feet. Oh, come on, come on. It's a hard container. Sweet! You got a new heart container, your life energy is friggin' amazing! It's nine of them now. Awesome. Alright. One more fight to go. <laughs> Probably should use the sword for this one. <laughs> That's what it's for and all that. Alright. Alright, Link, tuck your pajamas in. It's time to go. We got a boss to fight.
Hmm, nice place you got here. It would be a shame if something were to happen to it. It's been a while, boy. Yeah, a couple dungeons, you know, here and there. You've done well to sneak into my fortress and wiggle, wriggle your way all the way up here. Yeah, I wriggled for a while, actually. I suppose the least I can do is commend you for your reckless courage. My name is Ganondorf. Ooh, nice beard. And I am the master of the Forsaken Fortress. <laughs> Link's like, damn, you ugly. By the way, boy, when you drew that sword of yours out of its pedestal, did you by chance notice how all of the monsters frozen in time down there suddenly began stirring again? How do you know so much? Huh? Do you understand precisely what that means? I highly doubt you do. Foolish child, but that sword is indeed the blade of evil's bane. At the same time, it has long played another role. You see, it was also a sort of key, a most wretched little key, which has kept the seal on me and my magic intact. By withdrawing the blade, you have broken that seal. Huh? Alright, I'll stab him. Well, that was anti-dramatic. Oh, oh, hey man, you can't hit kids. You cannot defeat me with a blade that does not sparkle with the power to repel evil. What you hold is useless. Go back to the world below and tell that to pathetic fools who made this blade. It is, its power is gone and its edges are dull. Oh no! Whoa! Ninja pirates! Poncho, get up! Oh god. Ugh, stop! Let, let me go! You pathetic little sea rat! <laughs> My Triforce of Power is resonating! <laughs> At long last I have found you, Princess Zelda! Wh what What are you talking about? I don't know any... Zelda. Feigning ignorance will gain you nothing. Tell me, if you are not Zelda, then why do you have this fragment of the Triforce? Hmm? Why don't we just use the eagles to fly up to the fortress? Oh my. Who could have seen this coming? Damn. Link's like, oh boy. It's alright, Poncho. She has merely lost consciousness. Your sister has escaped the Forsaken Fortress with the pirates. You can relax. She's safe now. Lord Valu, you arrived not a moment too soon. We are deeply grateful. Oh, sorry. I'll read it in English. Still, it is too soon for us to relax. Cannot, cannot be dis cannon cannot be destroyed by such simple means as wrath and fire. I am aware of this. Yet I thought our first priority should be to separate these two from Ganon's grasp. I see, and I agree. Very well then, when you're counting on you. Hmm. Again, another section that would be in Hyrulean, if you were playing the game for the first time. Dang, he flies pretty fast. Jeez, I wish I could do that. Man, this make my boat look insecure. <laughs> Poncho, I will explain things later. Now we must return to the world beneath the sea. The plot says so. Alright. Cruise on in. Ah, 
Oh, you're finally awake! <laughs> and Link's like, yeah! <laughs> oh, ow. Poncho, you're alright? What is this place? And, hey, Ganondorf, what happened to him? Ugh. Hey! Hey! Poncho, what are you doing? You must come now to the room where you got the Master Sword. Who's calling me? Who was using that stone? Just who are you? Poncho and I are the only ones who can speak through this stone. How dare you use what's not yours? Your name is Tetra, correct? You must come with Poncho to see me at once. Who was that? Well, you don't you sound important. Fine, we're on our way. Just hold your horses, whoever you are. Alright. Poncho, what are you waiting for? You heard the stone. You were supposed to show me how to get to where that voice is. Alright. What do you think of all this, Mr. Boat? Hello? Mr. Boat! No, not you. What are you doing? Show me where the owner of that voice is. I want to talk to my boat, alright? Fine, he's ignoring me. Jackass. Alright, we already, we already killed all the monsters, so it's pretty easy to just kind of, uh, step on back down here to the basement. Ooh, teleporting in midair. Nicely done. Um, who are you? Are you him? Are you the one who is speaking through my stone without my permission? Answer me! That stone is an enhanced version of the Gossip Stones, long spoken of in the legends of the Hyrulean royal family. I am the one who made it. What? You made it? The royal family's Gossip Stone? I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Have neither of you heard the tales? Tales of the kingdom, spoken of in the legend of the great hero, the place where the power of the gods lies hidden. This place, where the two of you now stand, is that kingdom. This is Hyrule. And I am its king, Daphne's no Hansen Hyrule. Sure you are. What kind of name is that? Pancho, do you not recognize my voice? Oh god, it's the boat! Indeed, I am the one who guided you here. I am the king of red lions. Dude, that's weird. I mean, I've heard of, I've heard of like, animorphs and stuff, but you can't- you can turn into a boat? There is no need for me to reveal my true identity to you, to you as long as that blade, the Master Sword, could defeat Ganon. But now, both of you must listen to me. Once, long ago, this land of Hyrule was turned into a world of shadows by Ganon, who sought to obtain the power of the gods for his own evil ends. My power alone could not stop the fiend, and it was our only choice to leave the fate of the kingdom in the hands of the gods. When the gods heard our pleas, they chose to steal away not only Ganon, but Hyrule itself. And so the torrential downpour of rains with the torrential downpour of rains from the heavens, our fair kingdom was soon buried beneath the waves, forgotten at the bottom of the ocean. Like Atlantis or some shit. Yet all was not lost, for the gods knew that to seal the people away with the kingdom would be the grant Ganon's wish of the destruction of the land. So, before sealing, the sealing of the kingdom, the gods chose those who would build a new country and commanded them to take refuge on the mountaintops, or in giant arcs. Those people were your ancestors. Whoa! Hundreds of years have passed since then. So long as Ganondorf was not revived, Hyrule would remain below, never waking from its slumber. Tetra, come to me. Hmm? This necklace you wear is part of a sacred treasure called the Triforce of Wisdom, which has been passed down for many ages within the royal family of Hyrule. It has? Your mother passed this down to you and instructed you to treasure it and to guard it with your life. Am I not correct? Well, yeah. The Triforce of Wisdom is none other than the sacred power of the gods that we have kept from Ganon's clutches for so many long years. The gods placed upon your ancestors the task of protecting it from evil's grasp. You too must abide by the laws of the past, and so the time has come for me to teach you the fate into which you were born, the very reason that you live.
Whoa! Extreme Makeover Triforce Edition. <laughs> She's like, what the hell? <laughs> My fate. You are the true heir of the royal to the of the royal family of Hyrule, the last link in the bloodline. You are Princess Zelda. What? Zelda? I'm a princess? I always wanted to be a princess! I'm a real boy! You're confused, aren't you? I suppose such is to be expected. Yeah, like, why, why did she have to change her name? Why can't she be Princess Tetra? Poncho, I am terribly sorry that you have been caught up in these events. Nah, it's cool, I got a sword out of it. But now it is known that Tetra is... <laughs> now that it is known that Tetra is indeed Princess Zelda, Ganon will be searching frantically for this child in an attempt to get the power of the gods that she possesses. He will not rest until he has found her. If he succeeds, my ancient kingdom under the sea will be turned into a land of shadow and despair, and so will the world you know above the waves. Well, that sucks. Pancho, I need you to lend me your strength in this dark hour. I have a suspicion about what has caused the Master Sword to lose its power. I need for you to come with me back to the lands above the water and return the power to repel evil to the Master Sword. Okay. Zelda. You're a girl, so you can stay here. <laughs> the sacred chamber is nice and safe. No one will ever find you here. Ever. And then he teleports away like a freaking Jedi or something. Puncha, we must go. What? Now he's over there. Hey, why can't you do that when you're as a when you're a freaking boat? That would be really convenient. Ugh, too kingly to be walking everywhere, huh? Poncho. I don't know how to say this. Everything that's happened to you and your poor sister, it's all been my fault. Are those things in your hair meant to look like extra ears? Because they do. I'm so sorry. No, it's alright, they just look kinda weird. <laughs> and Link's like, ah! Don't mention it, I go on adventures all the time. <laughs> Poncho, be careful. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, and we're gonna put the statue back on top of you. Hope you got some food and water down there. Eh, whatever. Let's not worry about such things, shall we? Back to the boot! Well, this has been exciting, but I've had a little too much excitement for one day. So I think we're going to end it here, and I will see you guys next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. And we will return to... He's yawning! Alright, you jackass. Ugh, take my own sweet time, alright? You got to just deal with that. I'm the hero. I make the rules. Alright, yeah, see you guys later. You have done well to sneak into my fortress and wiggle, wriggle your way all the way up here. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle.